How to build a C-sharp.net report in your desktop application. Before we get started, navigate to our blog, C-sharp.net report data binding with stored procedures and parameters, and reference scenario two for the starter sample, the sample database, and the SQL query. To begin, we will work in Active Reports 18 and use Visual Studio 2022. We begin by creating a new project using the Active Reports 18 ASP.NET Core project template. The template will immediately prompt you to create a report, which we're going to skip since we'll use the sample report included in the earlier mentioned blog. However, if you do not use these samples, you can use the same methods to connect a data source and data set outlined later in this video. To add our sample report, navigate to the Reports folder, then left-click. From the menu, select Add Item, then Existing Item. Add the sample report to the folder and double-click to add it to your project. From here, open the report from inside the Reports folder in the Solution Explorer. Now navigate to the Report Explorer, then locate the Data Source tab. Left-click and select Add Data Source. We're using a SQL Server running on our machine, so we'll add that and use Windows Authentication. Now select your database. In this example, we will use the AdventureWorks LT 2022 database sample from the earlier mentioned blog. After we select the database, we need to add a data set. To do this, left-click the data source we just added in our Report Explorer and select Add Data Set. From here, navigate to Query in the menu on the left. Add in your query then select the green check to test it and ensure it's working properly. After clicking OK, your report will be attached to a data source with a data set to pull the data from. You can see our completed table in the designer. When we select the preview option, we can view a complete report that pulls from our SQL Server. To learn more about ActiveReports.net, check out our demos at developer.meshius.com slash ActiveReportsNet slash demos.